Hi, I'm Gabriella Chu, a Kids First alumna. Today is August 4th and I'm here for the world premiere of the 100 foot journey at the Ziegfeld Theater in New York. Oprah and Steven Spielberg are going to be here. I was working for Forbes magazine, the, the business I read magazine. about your biography. Oh, okay, all right, okay. So uh, when I was young, and I was in my 20s, I wrote a story for Forbes about Merchant Ivory Production, which was a, a little, lovely film company who did Howard's End, Remains of the Day, Room with a View. And Ismail, the producer, was Indian. And Ismail was a great cook. And I love to cook. And so he and I would cook. Over the years, we became friends, and we'd cook together sometimes. And I said, Ismail, you really need to find a literary property that marries your love of film with your love of uh, your love of food with your love of filmmaking. And I said, I'll help you find something. And I was thinking Zola or you know a great French writer like Balzac, but I never found what I was looking for. And, uh, and so my wife and daughter and I were walking on the beach one day, and they popped into my head. So uh, I wrote the story uh, trying to trick Ismail into making a film of something I had written. And Ismail sadly died before I was finished, but you can see uh, the motivation to, be, to, make, to have my book turned into a film, the seed that was planted in the book has produced this incredible production. Did you have a lot of say in what exactly went into making this film? Uh, in at Hollywood, they basically, they, they first buy the option of your book, and then they buy, and then when it gets green-lighted, they, um, they buy the film rights outright. And part of that is that they have the artistic license to do with it what they want. And that makes a lot of us writers nervous, but honestly, the, um, the, the, the quality of the talent involved with this film, and I'm enough of an artist to know that they have to make, you know, they can't copy me, they have to own, and it's a film is completely different, they have to own the material and make it their own. So I knew enough about the artistic process too, that just, when you see talent like this involved in this, you just let them do their thing. And I'm, what happened was uh, that the plot is a little different than my book, but the spirit of my book and the characters are, they absolutely nailed it. So much so that I'm telling everyone that it's my film. So I'm just so, so uh, over the moon with, you know, uh, uh, proud of this film that they created. You must be so proud. Thank I you am. so much you so for much. talking Thank to you. me. Thank I you. just found it so interesting, everything you were telling me, because I honestly don't know much about this whole industry. Oh, yeah, right. Well, we learn it, we, uh, I was learned it just myself recently. You learn by baptism by fire. I just want to thank you, too, for your work, too. Thank you so okay. much. All right. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. So many kids want to have this role that you have, um, being in movies. What advice do you have for them? Well, just just keep trying to move forward, basically. Like, you don't want to, uh, it's more, it's all about the work, all about the work. What attracted you to this role? Well, um, they asked me to look at it, and uh, I, um, I, they asked me to do the edition, and I did it, so it was actually like my first cooking role, so that was really cool. I, I wanted to try it. So. You must have been so good. Um, what was your favorite part? Favorite part? Probably working with Lasse Hallstrom, the director. He was really cool because when he told you something, you knew what he wanted. And what do you think he wanted? Um, well, he wanted to be very vivid. Like, he used film instead of digital because film makes, um, like, makes a scene more vibrant, more vivid. So, yeah. I think you're so mature for someone your age. It's very inspiring. Give a shout out to kids first. Um, hey guys. <laughs> Say your name and be like, kids first. Oh, um, I'm Rohan Chand and I'm 10 years old. And he's super cute. Watch him in movies. Yeah. I see such a bright career ahead of you. Thank you. It was so nice speaking to you. Nice speaking to you too. It was very much. I was trying to Bye. Bye. Thank you. Millions of kids are watching this movie right now. What message do you want them to take away from this film? What message? Oh. Uh, 
there's so many things to take away. And depending on what age you are when you watch it. Like, if I was 14, 15, 17, I'd just take away, God, Manesh is cute. He is one good looking, yummy guy. Um, so, the very idea that, the very idea, the star of the film, the very idea, the star of the film, Gail. Okay, the, 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 the very idea that you can mesh these cultures through food and uh, blend them in such a way that you, you have real connection and see that we are all more alike than we're different. I love that. I love what are you that. wearing and what do you own of what you're wearing? <laughs> What is it? It's great. What is it? It's a dress. But um, it's quite clumsy and, and awkward at the same time. So that's exactly like me. So uh, I think that's, you know, we, we are attracted to roles who kind of, roles that are uh, similar to ourselves in, in some way. Do you think it was difficult being this character or did it just naturally flow right out of oh, you? it naturally flowed. Because, I mean, the director and having all the amazing cast around you, it just happens naturally. And um, that was, yeah, the most kind of, wonderful part of the experience for me, yeah. Well, food definitely plays a big role. Oh. I'm sorry. It does play a big role. Yes. And I love eating it. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you. Nice to meet you. First of all, I want to say I'm such a big fan of all the movies you've been involved with. You know, The Help, Contagion, Lincoln. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I think they're so great. Like, I learned so much from them, and I think the cinematography, everything about them is really good. Can you tell me about your involvement with this movie? Um, yeah, well, you know, Participant uh, does everything from develop. Uh, well, I mean, we're a full-scale media company with uh, narrative films, documentaries. We have a TV channel called Pivot. Uh, and, and everything we do is um, entertainment that inspires and compels social change. So it has to not only be a good story, but it has to have some issue in it that's important and relevant to a lot of people. And once people see the film, uh, they would change something about their lives. So for example, Food Inc., the documentary we did a few years ago, uh, changed the way people looked at food and buying food and eating. Uh, this one was uh, kind of a co-development project with, with DreamWorks. Um, and um, it, it's just a, um, you know, it's a, it's a beautiful story and I, I think once people see it, they'll, they'll, they'll get why we were attracted to, to this film. Just Tell me a little bit what... Uh, what, uh, what Kids think, First? What you're, oh, okay, you're with Kids First. Yeah, I'm okay. with Kids First, oh, cool. which actually trains kids to review movies critically and think about the media that they're watching. Oh. And actually, I'm a Kids First alumni. And I'm uh, so good, good, good luck at Princeton. It was so nice meeting you. <laughs> yeah, such an nice honor to be talking too. to someone who's produced so many of my favorite movies, you know? Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, I appreciate that. Um, and I, I really like what you just told me about the message of the movie because I noticed that when I personally am on the red carpet, a lot of stars don't take the time to speak to me about their work so thoroughly as you do, and I really appreciate it. Oh, yeah, uh, you cool. really followed through with your advice that you just told me, and I appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. What, what program are you going to be doing at Princeton? Um, I'm actually going to do computer science, huh. but I'm very interested in film, and I think there's an interesting connection between technology and the arts, and I want to be a part of that. Yeah, yeah that's really... Uh, yeah, I, st I started out in computer science. Uh, I'm actually an electrical engineer. This is sort of before they had computer science, so our computers uh, still had punch cards and stuff. But I, I really love computers. I got involved in that world. That led to eBay eventually, and then uh, and then I was able to get back to the dream of telling stories to make a difference. And so, um, yeah, you're you're maybe you'll do the same pattern. Who knows? Yeah. This is so cool. I 
didn't expect to find this connection at all, you know? Lots of. Right. Speak about working right. with him. Well, nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet good, you. good luck. Nice okay. Meet you. What specifically did you do for the movie? Well, I bought the rights to the book uh, five and a half years ago. I fell in love with the book. And then I set about a very long journey trying to get the film made. And so it's been five and a half years to this point. Wow. Yes. What specifically did you like about the book that made you want to pursue I like What I really loved about it was that it was about immigration. It's about food. It's about how people come together from different cultures. I'm very proud of this film. It means a great deal to me. Yeah. Did you get to work with Steven Spielberg and yes. Oprah? Yes, wow. very much so. I mean, Steven is a genius. He has such an incredible visual eye. And Oprah could not have been more supportive. I mean, she's been so supportive of the project. She came to visit us in France. Everybody went crazy when she was there. Yeah, it was really imagine. wonderful. Yeah. It's been a fantastic experience. Yeah. What were your biggest takeaways from this movie? Um, I want to do it again. I'd like to make an, another movie. But I think that, you know, one of the things that I keep saying is that movies are a great way to tell serious stories. This has got a lot of comedy in it, but it's also got drama in it. And I hope that people leave not just feeling hungry, but they feel that they want to think about the issues behind the film. And what do you think those issues are? I think it's about being accepting of other cultures. You know, I think it's really important that we embrace other cultures. And there's a no finer way to do that with them with different cuisines from around the world. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much Thank for your you. insight. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I'm such a big fan of all of your work and I'm actually 17 and I find your movies so inspiring. What um, makes you decide which movies to produce and which ones to direct and well, why did you decide to produce this one? You know, what, what makes me direct a movie, I don't even know myself. I'm, I'm seized with a feeling that I can't live without this experience of directing this movie. Some movies I'm seized with a very strong feeling that I want to bring this to audiences but as a producer, not as a director. Director. And it's something that happens beyond my intellectual ability to even explain it to you. It just happens deep inside myself. Millions of kids are going to see this movie. What message do you want them to take away from it? Well, just that there's uh, a lot of love in cooking. And there's a lot of cooking in love. And that I think this is a very, very sweet, delightful story about family and about the differences between our cultures, but how we can bring our cultures together simply by sitting down and sharing a meal together. That's, such and that's a, a great good message. message. Thank you so Thanks. much. I was just at the world premiere of the 100 Foot Journey at the Zigfield Theater in New York. Check it out when it comes out in theaters August 8th, and don't forget to eat something afterwards.